Weeks after 13 investigates exposed serious problems with Marion County's bus system for riders with disabilities, Indigo is now taking drastic action. Our senior investigative reporter Bob Siegel explains why the agency is refusing to pay a million dollar bill. About 4,000 disabled residents in Marion County rely on Indigo's paratransit buses to get to work, school, church, and their doctor's appointments. But all these riders told 13 Investigates the Indigo Open Door bus service is badly broken, nearly always running behind. An hour late every single day. Getting from one side of town to the other can take three, four, even six hours. I don't see how anybody gets anywhere they're supposed to go. It's not just an inconvenience. It can be life-changing when these riders miss their rehab sessions, doctor's appointments, or dialysis treatments, which eventually put this woman in the emergency room. For dialysis, that's my life. If I don't go, I can get sick and die. We clearly understand and see the frustrations. Responding to our investigation, Indigo leaders told 13 Investigates it would work closely with its new contractor to fix the citywide problem. That contractor is TransDev, which recently won a $55 million contract to operate the city's paratransit bus service. But things have been getting worse, not better, since the company took over. And even after our investigation, the company has struggled to provide on-time bus service for disabled riders. I was on hold for an, two and a half hours. Tony there, Eckert says I, in the past few weeks, it's taken him hours just to get through to schedule an open-door bus ride. And when he does make a reservation, the bus still shows up at least an hour late. This problem has been going on for years. At what point does Indigo say enough is enough? I think we're, 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 we're saying that enough is enough right now. Indigo Chief Operating Officer Roscoe Brown says the agency has started fining TransDev for its poor service. Each time a bus is late, each time a rider has to spend more than two hours on the bus, each time a rider doesn't get picked up at all, TransDev has been getting fined for failing to meet the terms of its contract. So far, nearly $180,000 in fines in just the past three months alone. We don't take this lightly. You know, it, it, uh, it alarms us, it, it disturbs us that uh, we're struggling so much. But those struggles have continued. While on-time performance has started to improve, it is still far below the 90% on-time rate required by Indigo. On some days, it's as low as 70, 60, even close to 50%, meaning hundreds of riders still sit and wait, sometimes for hours at a time. How much longer do I need them to, to fix this? 70% is totally ridiculous. Following our investigation, Indigo's board of directors is losing patience. After its October board meeting, Indigo gave its contractor an ultimatum. Fix the problem now or you won't get paid. We gave them one week to get the on-time percentage to a certain level, I think it was 80%, and then the second week to get it to 90%. They failed to do that. That failure has resulted in this, a letter informing TransDev that Indigo is withholding $960,000, its entire payment for the month of September, for its continuing failure to perform its contractual duties. Indigo plans to keep withholding payments nearly a million dollars a month until TransDev shows significant improvement. That's a pretty extreme step to be taking. Yeah, it is, uh, but it's a necessary step. This is a vulnerable at-risk population that we're serving. They deserve better service than what they're receiving now. We, we mean business. We need some immediate, immediate, specific, immediate uh, action uh, that will turn this situation around. Indigo tells me these drastic steps are the last option they have short of canceling TransDev's $55 million contract. 13 Investigates has reached out to TransDev, but the company has not returned our phone calls. Okay, so what is the next step in all this? Good question. Well, last week we did see a team of TransDev managers from Chicago and Detroit arrive at Indigo headquarters to discuss the fines and an action plan. We're told those talks went well, but we're still waiting to see what changes will occur. Yeah, and I know you'll keep watching it. This is an important issue. Yeah, it will. It will. More details coming up here. The meeting scheduled for early next month. All right. Thank you, Bob.